Hi guys, welcome to Free to Be Feed Pop Nutrition Meals. If you've watched my program yesterday, we were making homemade falafel and hummus. So I have some left over and for today's breakfast, because breakfast is my favorite part of the day, I am making falafel egg surprises. What you will need, you will need to take the falafel and just cut in half because those are muffin size falafels. You will also need mushrooms, onions, olive oil, free to be fit spice blend, rosemary and red pepper flakes and a muffin tin. From here let's go ahead and cut the onion. First what we're going to do is we're going to slice the onion and saute it with mushrooms on the, on the stove, on the top part of the stove. Oh, you also need garlic. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this here, chop it up. I like a lot of onion. What we're going to do is we're going to use the entire head. Because if you have any leftover of the mushrooms, and the onions, this is a great way to complement any salad. Try not to get it on the floor like I do. But if you're already watching, I'll show you now. I'm not the cleanest chef in town. You can slice it up and chop it just as fine or as big as you want. I need one more pot. Hold on one second. Yes, and I always forget I'm always moving around the kitchen. So place it here. I do not preheat the heavy bottom pan for when I'm sauteing the onions or the mushrooms. Um, I just don't find it necessary and then the onion doesn't burn as much as when it is. Also, if you're new, we have a Pilot Yoga 90 Day Challenge, which is a low impact workout. Low impact doesn't mean you don't get to sweat. You actually sweat a lot. You, will, you get as much as you put in. Let's cut up the garlic. You can get actually two heads. Slice it up and um, right, like so. Take this and just crush it. Just then put it in. What we're going to do, take the button mushrooms. So those are just like that. I'm going to slice them. I don't want them too small, so those are big chunks, no particular size. I use the stems as well because it will all get nice and soft when you're sorting it. Also, of course, it depends on how many people you've got. You'll use more or less, but this will serve and fill up the six muffin tins for sure. towards the stove, what I first like to do, I put the oil in the pan and then I put the spices in. What it does, it helps the flavors melt together. Now that our onions and mushrooms are done, we will go ahead and continue to our breakfast. Our falafels are pretty big, so go ahead and just slice it like so, so you get two halves. And take a little bit of olive oil. To put it on the, um, it's like same thing that you use to put eggs on um, baked goods. You can use your finger. Olive oil is tasty. I'm just doing it just for myself and my mom, so I'm doing two out of six. But overall, this recipe is enough for six muffins. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna use the part that's being baked at the bottom, so it's still soft. And then the inside come, will be facing top. If it's crackled, that's alright because you're going to get eggs, it's not a big deal. 
you can just press it slightly because the tops won't be as even. From here, let's grab the onion. Let me grab a spoon. Grab a spoon and put about one tablespoon of mixture on top of falafel. We can show that everybody gets a good amount of both onion and mushroom. And you still have enough space for the egg. A little bit left over, no big deal because I'm not using the juice. So this is enough for six. And a little here. Then what you're going to do, you're just going to crack an egg. And put it on top. Crack an egg. Put it on top. Make sure it doesn't come out. Oop, go into the side. There we go. Prop it up with mushroom so it doesn't come out. This one had a little bit much. Coming together. And last one. Put it on top. Here we go. Perfect. I love cheese, so you're gonna put oop. I like cheese, so you're gonna put a little bit of cheese on top. I'm using a smoked um, goat gouda. Using a large shredder, just shred a little bit on top. So we're done here. And what you're gonna do is just put a little bit on top of each. Cheese really makes a big difference in taste. If you don't like cheese, you can skip this all together. You can even put a little bit of maybe bacon pieces on top. Really makes a difference. I've pretty hit the oven. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place this in the oven for about 10 minutes or until the egg white is set. Well guys, our muffins are about done. Let's take them out and see what's going on. Check this out. Here you go. It, it smells so good. Make sure you don't hurt. Make, this is really hot. So from here, we're going to go ahead and move and try them out. Now that our muffins are ready, what you're going to do is just grab a spoon and separate if there is any egg that was running down. Mm, so good. What you're going to do is grab a spoon and kind of walk, walk it around the muffin. You can also use, I keep saying it and I don't do it, you can also use the, um, the muffin, the, hold on one second, this is, here we go, let's try this out. We got the runny egg, I love the runny egg, so what you're going to do, just put, uh, put it on them. Let it absorb within the falafel. Mmm, this is so good. Delicious. Well, until next time, free to be fit. I hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe to our feed so you can get the. Well, let's try this. Well, let's try this out. Now that it's ready, let's try this out to get the egg and falafel and the mushroom. It's so good. Anyway, please put all your comments in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe to Freedom Beef channel and get the latest and the greatest in pop nutrition, pilot yoga, and metabolic training response workout. Until next time, Freedom Beef Fit.